Hello and welcome to another Cognos Analytics 11 demo. My name is Kwame Uwuku. I am a Cognos consultant at Cognitics. Please visit our website at cognitics.com to see some of the services we offer. Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to show you how you would create a join and a union in order to be able to display data as per, two, as per these two report views that I have here. So on this screen, I have a report request, and essentially, I have a, a passing yards table and a rushing yards table. There are two distinct tables. In fact, there are Excel spreadsheets that I'm going to be pulling into Cadnos. And since they are not joined, I have, I, I have to create a join between the two tables in order to be able to create this report. So I have report one and report two here. Here, I'm going to be using a join in order to be able to display the report in this form, you know. Here the request is that they want to see the teams and they want to see the passing and the rushing yards side by side. Anytime you see a request like this, where you have to show um, a report or you have, to sh you have to lay out some data side by side and the, the columns are coming from separate tables, think of doing a join, right? And uh, when Ever you have a request like this okay so this other rep uh, report request requires that the data is displayed vertically so they want to see the person in the ration yards but they want to see it as rows instead of columns so sometimes a lot of developers or uh, new report developers get com uh, confused whether they should use a join or a union for me if the layout requires you to stick or to stack the data on top of each other, then you think of doing a union. Because here, you know, I see that I have my person in the ration. You know, the Patriots have 1,200 person and, and 600 ration. They want to be able to see these two layered on top of each other so that they can do a total, a vertical total. Of course, you can use a cross tab to achieve the same results, but uh, you, know, you might have a data structure that does not support uh, just using, pulling the, the columns into a query and creating a cross tab. So in this case, you will have to create a, a, a manual union using uh, Cognos. So I'm going to show you how you do that. But first, I need to import these two spreadsheets. And then I'll create a module in uh, Cognos 11. And then I'll go ahead and I'll create the, the two reports. Okay. So to do that first, we have to upload the two tables. Okay. I'm going to pull in the passing table first and Cognos analyzes it and it pulls, it shows me the two columns, teams and parson. I'm going to make this a measure because I want to use it for calculations. So I click on this button and that turns it into a measure. So I click OK and it is saved. I'm going to again upload the ration um, table. I pull that in as well. I turn the ration into a measure and I hit OK. Okay. So I cannot create a report directly from the spreadsheets, so I have to create what is called a module. And um, I have another video where I show how to create that. Uh, I explain what a, a module is in Cognos 11 Analytics, so do a search and you find it. But uh, here we are going to go ahead and we are going to create um, the module. Now I have uploaded the files here. So you can see that I have the ration, I have the ration and the person. When I go in, when I click on content, I can see the two files that I uploaded here. Okay, so to create a module, you click the plus button and you click data module. And you are presented with this interface. With this module, I intend to use uploaded files. So I click uploaded files and I navigate to where my files are located. So this is the passing, and I believe this is the ration spreadsheets that I just uploaded. Okay, so once I have them selected, I hit start. Okay, so here are the two data sources. You know, I drag the passing over here, and I drag the ration over here. Okay, so this is the module. I'm going to name it um, shortly. Before I do that, I'm going to do a few things. Um, the teams, I'm going to make the teams the identifier if that is not already um, specified. Okay, so it's specified as identifier, count distinct, that's fine. Passing is a merger, very good, but we'll use a total 
instead of account. So that is done. Um, I can close out of here and then I'll do the same thing for the other table. Teams, I believe it is already specified as an identifier, okay? So ration, I'm going to do that as a total, okay? And that's it. I save and I'm going to save it in my content and I'm going to call that um, module demo, okay? So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to be using this to create the reports. So save and it is saved, okay? So I go back to my home page and now I'm going to create the first report. So I hit the plus button and I hit report and Cognos is going to present me with the layout template. I'm going to go with, um, let's see, let's go with this one and I'm going to choose this theme, okay? No, let's go with something cool. Cool blue seems fine, okay? So I'm presented with this uh, new screen, all right? So first, I'm going to call this the, the join. I'll call it report one, report one, join. And then I'll call this report two, union okay so I click on the plus button and I'm going to select a list query one that is fine okay so let's go over and build the query right okay so I'm going to create two queries the first query I'm going to name that the join and the second query Actually, no, I'm going to call the first query passing. And then the second query, I'm going to call that ration. Okay. All right. So I've already connected that to the list, but I'll change that shortly. Okay. So let's go to the, um, to the source. And I'm going to pull in my module, the module that I just uh, created, because I'm going to use that as a source for my queries. Okay, so I have my passing and my ration queries here. Everything looks good. Um, I'm going to go over to add some data items. So data, ration, and passing, okay. And let's go back and select the second query, data item, team, and then the ration, okay? So now I have two queries, okay? Query with uh, the teams passing, the teams on, and then passing yards, and then ration, I have the teams and the ration as well, okay? So let's go over to the queries and I'm going to create my first join. Um, to do this, I'm going to click on the tools button and I'm going to bring in the join. I'm going to pull passing and then ration. I'm going to click on the, the link to create the link. It's just going to be a one-to-one -one mapping. That is fine. It's a very simple table. So between team and team, I click OK and let me name this join. Okay, so because this query is the one that is going to feed the list report on on my first page. So I'm going to call that join and I'm going to go back to the data items. Okay, so join currently doesn't have anything. Since I have teams in both areas, I'll just pull the one from passing and I'm going to pull passing and ration. And now I have my join with team and passing and ration. So if I go back to the main page, I'm going to point this, um, I'm going to point the, qu the query of the list to join and I'm going to navigate back and I'm going to drag team, I'm going to drag passing and I'm going to drag ration. Let me close out of here. Let me close out of here as well so you can see everything and I'm going to go to the preview and you see that 
because I did the join, I can now display the pass and interaction in two distinct um, columns, just like the requirement uh, re requested. If I can find it, um, here we have the ration, and I believe. Okay, so the requirement, the first requirement, create a joint pass and ration. I did the join between uh, team. And now I can display both of them. So let's build report number two, which requires that I stack the data on top of each other. Okay, so back to design mode. Okay, let me close out of here and here. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I click the plus button again. Let's go with the cross tab and let's just click OK. All right. So we already have the queries created, right? But I need to make a small change. OK. Here we have the person and the ration. But remember, I said before that I wanted to be able to show person and ration. Because if I stick, if I stack person and ration, you will not be able to tell whether uh, 1200 is the, the passing yards or whether the 600 is ration. Essentially, if I just stack them together with just these two columns, the report will look like this. And you see you see the teams and you see the, the yards, but you'll not be able to tell if it's ration or passing. So to do this, I'm going to label each of the two queries and uh, I'm going to create a data item and I'm going to label each of the two queries so that when I display them in the report, I can use the label as an attribute to tell the difference between the two, um, the two yards. Okay, and it will make sense when you, you you see me creating it. Okay, so I go back to the tools and I'm going to tra drag a data item, and I'm going to call this um, yards type. Okay, and in the test here, since this is the passing query, I'm going to call this passing yards. Okay, and I hit OK. I go back to my queries again. I go to ration. Oh, I didn't spell it correctly. Carson Yards. Okay. Okay, click OK. In fact, I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go to ration and I'm going to paste it here. And um, double click and I'm going to call this ration. Okay. So. What did I do? I have my passing query. I've added a new column so that when I create my union, I'll be able to tell, you know, distinguish between the different yards, okay, whether it is passing or ration. Okay, so the thing with unions is you have to have the name, the same number of columns. You know, ra uh, my ration, I have the same number of columns. They don't have to be named the same thing, but they have to be the same and they have to be the same data type. So you have to arrange them accordingly. Because, you know, in my ration query, I have teams, I have ration, and then I have the yards type. In my passing query, I have the teams, passing, and the yards type. If I happen to move passing on top, you know, I spelled this wrong. If I, if I happen to move the, um, the passing on top, it, 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 will, it will not work. Because um, it, it, essentially, you are going to be sticking the numbers where the teams should be. So that will not work. So always remember that you have to stick the columns on top of each other or you are going to get an error. Okay, so back to the queries here. I'm going to call this the union. Okay, and I'm going to go to the toolbar. I'm going to bring the union and I'm going to put passing and I'm going to put ration. Okay, so with union selected, I'm going to go to the source and I'm going to bring in teams, passing, and yards type. And I'm going to rename passing yards to just yards because this uh, column now contains both ration and passing. Okay, so let's go back to the page to create the report now. Since we have completed the union, I'm going to point the list to the union query, click OK go back to the data items and I'm going to drag teams yards type and yards ok 
okay and now we see that I am able to stack the yards rushing yards and the passing yards and remember the yards type this is the test that we created we physically created in um, in the query remember I added a Russian um, a yards type and I typed in Russian yards and I did the same for passing um, this was that was the reason so that you can distinguish between the two um, the two yards the yards type when you you when we when we stacked them on top of each other so I'm going to group and then I'm going to total and essentially we have the report completed and it looks like I had it in this layout with the person and the ration stacked on top of each other. 